According to the CDC, 35% of the U.S. population are sleep deprived. That means they're getting less than six hours of sleep each night. And 80% of adults said that they use the weekend days to make up for the sleep that they've lost during the week. So lack of sleep can really lead to a lot of medical issues, including causing weight loss stalls. Well, what's even worse is it can cause weight gain. So today we're gonna talk all about sleep. And how to get more of it. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I half expected you to come out in one of those old fashioned sleep hats, like, you know, the one with the pom pom or like the bonnet from Little House on the Prairie. Well, I actually planned on dressing up like Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Um, but this is an important topic and I wanted to kind of like take it seriously. Well, thank you for that You're because welcome. this really is an important topic. Uh, getting adequate sleep is essential to weight loss, to peak performance and to longevity. I mean, adults really need to get a minimum of seven to eight hours of high quality sleep each night for optimal health. But it is an understatement to say that Joe and I were not getting the sleep that we needed. And it turns out we're not alone. That's we don't right. have to feel bad about it. Actually, data from the CDC says that one third of adults and teens qualify as short sleepers, which means that they get less sleep than is actually recommended. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about five different tips that we have used to improve our sleep. Now, before we get started, I do wanna mention that today's video is actually being sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding. Yes, thanks guys. Recently, we partnered with RVMattress.com for our Two Crazy Campers channel. And RVMattress.com is a division of Brooklyn Bedding. And through them, we upgraded the mattress in our travel trailer, Eleanor. And we were so impressed by the mattress that we actually decided to get one for our home. And that decision was long overdue. Long I mean, overdue. We have been sleeping on a secondhand mattress that was more than 20 years old. Now we did that because we thought we were saving money by not replacing our mattress, but ultimately it was actually costing us adequate sleep. Thankfully, we were able to get a residential mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. I mean, Brooklyn Bedding makes high quality mattresses right here in the USA, and they ship right to your door with free delivery in the 48 contiguous states. They come in a variety of styles, from the budget-friendly Dream Foam Essential to the popular Aurora Lux, which features both eight inch ascension coils and memory foam. Then there's the super luxurious Sedona Elite. So all of the mattresses are available in a variety of sizes, including twin, full, queen, king, California King, and yes, they do have RV sizes. Yay! Ordering a mattress from Brooklyn Bedding is super easy. Simply visit their website at brooklynbedding.com slash two crazy ketos and select a mattress with a firmness level that's right for you. If you need help, they have sleep experts available online to chat while you're making your selection. The best part about buying a mattress through Brooklyn Bedding is their customer service guarantee. Every mattress comes with a 120 sleep night guarantee and a 10 year warranty. If you're not satisfied with your new mattress, you can exchange it or get a refund once you've used it for at least 30 days. After you place your order, it gets shipped right to your door with free delivery in the 48 contiguous states. Now there is shipping to Hawaii, Alaska, and Canada, but that's gonna be an additional charge. So installation is much easier than a traditional mattress. You don't have to carry things up around stairs nope. and things like that. After you remove your old mattress, simply take the mattress out of the box, and I strongly advise lifting the box off over it to make it easier, then just carry it into your bedroom. Do not, I repeat, do not unroll it until you put it on your box spring or platform. It's gonna make it way more easy to carry. So once the mattress is safely on your box spring or platform, all you have to do is unroll it from the plastic. 
After you unroll it, you're gonna need to flip it over before you remove the final plastic cover. And that is the funnest part. <laughs> Carefully cut the plastic cover and watch the mattress just like come to life. In just a few seconds, you'll have a brand new giant mattress that is super comfortable. Now, if you are curious, we personally chose the Aurora Lux for our RV and the Sedona Elite for our bedroom. It's nice. We chose them because of the firmness level and the comfort and also because they both feature advanced cooling. Both of them are really great mattresses and we couldn't be happier. Now we do want to thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video about sleep. If you're in the market for a new mattress, we highly recommend Brooklyn Bedding. Again, you can check them out by going to brooklynbedding.com slash 2crazyketos. And if you use the code 2crazyketos, you'll get 20% off your purchase. So now that we've talked about a proper mattress, let's talk about proper sleep. Because that was what Joe and I were both missing. We've been eating the proper human diet, we've incorporated exercise into our daily lives, and when it came to sleep, we figured two out of three ain't bad, right Joe? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Actually, it was really bad. I mean, not getting enough sleep influences so many aspects of our health, more than I ever thought. Uh, it affects our mood, our concentration, it affects our memory retention, it leads to hypertension, it increases stress hormones, uh, it causes irregular heartbeats, yeah. uh, it results in sexual dysfunction. It's there. And it compromises your immune system. And don't forget, Obesity, mm -hmm. sleep deprivation affects how the body processes and stores carbs and alters the hormones that affect appetite and metabolism. Poor sleep disrupts leptin, ghrelin, and insulin, and it limits the human growth hormone. When you don't get enough sleep, you reduce your levels of HGH, human growth hormone. Right. Uh, and that not only affects muscle development, but it also affects your metabolism of glucose, fats, and protein. And that leads to the accumulation of belly fat. Now, if your sleep has been lousy, do not panic. Our sleep patterns were the worst. I don't think anybody's got a worse sleep pattern than me. So if we can turn it around, so can you. And today we've got five tips to help improve your sleep. We've been implementing all of these things that we're gonna share today, and we have seen a noticeable improvement in our sleep. So number five. Stop eating at least two hours before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. And this one was a tough one for me, but it's been worth the effort. When you stop eating two hours before bed, it allows plenty of time for your body to digest your food so it doesn't disrupt your sleep. But it also leaves a small enough window before sleep that you won't go to bed feeling hungry, which was really important to me. It also gives people with acid reflux time to avoid symptoms before bed. Eating also prompts the release of insulin even if it's only fat and protein. And this process can actually shift your body's sleep-wake cycle, which is also known as the circadian rhythm. Mm -hmm. Food eaten too late in the evening can signal wakefulness in the brain, and that will interfere with your ability to fall asleep. And that brings us to number four, create a sleep sanctuary. Create a space that has minimal stimulation and maximum relaxation. There's actually quite a few ways that we can do this. Oh, this one was tough for me. Declutter your room of excess clothing, piles of books, all the loose paperwork, just declutter that space. I don't even wanna say this one. Make your bedroom colder. Yay! Humans sleep better in colder environments, so set your thermostat to between 60 to 70 degrees. I am not gonna lie, when we actually discovered that, that was great news for me. <laughs> It turns out we were right to start cooling down our sleep space with our mattress cover from Chili Sleep. It was a great first step. And another step is to make the room dark. Melatonin and other sleep hormones require complete darkness to work their magic. Use heavy drapes, blackout curtains, or room darkening blinds. Also, eliminate any of those little teeny tiny lights on your chargers and your electronics. Either put those electronics into another room, or if you can't, put a piece of tape over it. Right. So ideally, and we are not here yet, but ideally, your bedroom should be for two things. Oh, great day. Sleep. He's gonna say it. And yes. Sex, oh, okay. that is it. We are not there yet, but there really shouldn't be a TV. You shouldn't eat in your bed. You shouldn't uh, be doing computer work in your bed. But if you follow these steps, it'll start taking you in the right direction. Right. So number three, 
invest in a new mattress. Under normal conditions, mattresses should be replaced every six to eight years. Wow, hopefully somebody can learn from our terrible mistake of holding onto a mattress for more than 20 years. And if you're wondering whether or not it's time to replace your mattress, here's some questions you may wanna ask yourself. Um, is it noticeably saggy or is it damaged in certain areas? For example, we had our mattress when we were 300 pounds for several years. So there were big divots where we would sleep. Right. Also, is it making more noise than it used to when you move around? Yeah, and are you waking up with muscle or joint stiffness? And do you actually sleep better at hotels or other people's houses than you do in your own bed? Yeah, if you answered yes to any of these, you might wanna consider a new mattress like one from today's sponsor, Brooklyn Bedding. A new mattress can help reduce aches and pains, it can help reduce allergies and asthma symptoms, and it can help reduce motion transfer from your partner. So even if they move a lot in their sleep, it doesn't disturb yours. All of these things will help you get a better night's sleep. So number two, don't drink alcohol, especially near bedtime. Drinking excessive amounts of alcohol raises your body temperature and dehydrates your body, which can lead to night sweats and it can cause you to wake up because your body's thirsty. So alcohol also reduces our REM sleep, which causes sleep disruptions. Many people who drink before bed often experience insomnia symptoms and they feel excessively sleepy the next day. And since alcohol actually does inhibit REM sleep, it has an adverse effect on our memory functions, our motor functions, and more. Now, we're not saying that you can't ever have a glass of wine, and it's entirely up to you what you do with this information. But when it comes to drinking right before bed, you may want to limit that to just one or two nights per week. Now, before we get to number one, please do us a favor. If you're enjoying this content and finding it useful, please take a quick minute and head down below and hit the like button on this video. And if you aren't yet subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when we upload a new video like this one. So number one, dump the electronics. Ouch, it like hurts to even say it. <laughs> okay, you don't have to get rid of them entirely, but we do have two suggestions that will help. First, whenever you are inside looking at any kind of screen or under artificial light, wear your blue light glasses. Yeah. Uh, the blue light that comes from all of these different screens and the lights over our head, they actually can cause spikes in cortisol, which will inhibit sleep, encourage sugar cravings, elevates ghrelin secretion, which stimulates our hunger. It increases insulin production, which promotes fat storage when you sleep, and it compromises the leptin signaling, which can blunt satiety sensations and hamper fat metabolism. And exposure to blue light after sunset is the number one way we modern humans disrupt our circadian rhythms, and we fail to live in accordance with our genes. Now, ideally, we should be shutting off all digital devices once it gets dark out. But since that's not always possible, we have a couple of suggestions for you. First of all, once the sun goes down, switch from the yellow glasses to using orange or red tinted glasses. These block out all of the high temperature lights and leave low temperature colors like red, orange, and yellow. They emulate candle or firelight. These low temperature lights don't negatively affect our melatonin production. Our second suggestion is to turn off all the screens, be it your TV, computer, or phone, at least one to two hours before you go to bed. This will help your brain wind down and get ready for sleep. I think this is the thing that has really helped us get sleep the most and it's something I didn't really wanna do, but I knew we had to. Now we do have a bonus tip for you guys to get better sleep, and this one is gonna make Rachel really happy. Take a nap. <laughs> take a nap. Yes, taking naps will help sustain the focus, the energy, and the productivity that you need for an active life. And they are an effective way that you can catch up on either REM or non-REM sleep cycle deficiencies. Napping earlier in the day can help you catch up on the REM sleep, and napping later in the day is more likely to restore deep sleep deficiencies. And according to Dr. Sarah Mednick, who happens to be one of the world's leading experts on sleep, napping when you need it is unlikely to compromise your ability to fall asleep at yes. night. It can even help 
combat insomnia. Well, there you have it. Five ways plus a bonus tip that you can use to improve your sleep. So these are just a few of the ways that you can improve your sleep and as a result, improve your health. But there are a lot more. So let us know down in the comment section some of the different steps that you have taken to improve your sleep. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video that I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.